Hi, welcome to a new Minecraft series. Uh, this one is Project Ozone, and it's made by the Cazador Sniper and OG Aristotle, I think the names are. Uh, it's a um, it's like a, a modded skyblock type Minecraft. Uh, it's got like Botania and Tinker's Construct and, and a few other things. I thought would be uh, interesting to play. This is a uh, HQM hardcore quest mode type one. Um, <clears throat> I think as I I started it up and got it to load, loaded the uh, a copy of the new map and stuff, just so it'll be all ready to go. So without further ado, let's let's get into it. God, I hate those fireworks. Okay, set game mode to survival. Just in case, yeah. Okay, it's starting in loader. In fact, I already have the starting inventory. Okay, so this is my little island. And uh, those are the quest box. Ooh, nice glass door. Okay, so. Apple tree. Okay, so let's 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 read the book. Uh, inspired by other sky related mod packs, blah 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 blah. It's not a guy, but right. In the beginning. Cold storage. Um uh, okay. Okay, so pound the ground. Shift right click grass or dirt to obtain pebbles. This, okay. So, so shift right click with an empty hand. Ooh, pebbles. Wonder what these are all about. I'm assuming they're like stones. One, two, three, four, Let's see if I can get, pick up 64. One, two, three. Right, now these should add together to make stone. Perfect, but I need 64. Blood Moon Rising already? It's a bit early for that, isn't it? Alright. So F7 brings up little crosses. These tell you where um, the light level's low enough for bad guys to spawn during the night. If it's a red X, that means it's dark enough for them to spawn during the day. Okay. Yeah, Blood Moon basically means um, the spawn rate of mobs is much higher during the night. Lots of bodies. Okay. Well, let's Let's get back to this for now. <clears throat> this is tedious, but right now it's uh, it's our only cobble gen. Now I have played this a couple of times. Uh, as you can see, all the flowers we have Batania. Uh -huh. Bunch more. I'll eventually go around and pick all them Batania flowers just to get them out of the way. I don't have a chest to put them in yet. So I want to plant this apple tree. Yeah. 
need a few more. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Okay, let's just pick a reward bag. Oh I'm not there yet. <laughs> Ugh, I'm trying to complete a quest that I don't have yet. Okay, random character that acts kindness. Okay, I got a diamond. Do I want oak sapling? Do I want all the essence berry bush? Hmm. I'm going for the essence berry bush. Now I can complete that. Right, I'm gonna put the jukebox in there and the diamond in there. Ooh, I found that. Bonus. These chance cubes. Yeah, you didn't want to open them on the sky block. Fancy lantern, printing plus and sack. Very nice. Give us a lantern right here, right now. Is that all the print this is for? Okay, the water is always nice. Okay, what else does the quest say? What's this? So if I kill 15 spirits, I get an extra life. Okay, well, let's wait for that. Where's the wood? Crook leaves to gain silkworms. Now, a little thing here. Which I'm supposed to say it in the book somewhere, but I don't know. It says it somewhere. But anyway, you spam shift, left shift, and it acts like bomb. And if I hold the tilde key, which is above my tab. It basically acts like a tree, a uh, tree capitator. And that is how I get wood, and apparently it... It's not like that it works with... Uh, oh, only works with trees. And only oak trees. Not, not an apple tree over there. And to that, oh, that's a very quick way of getting wood. Shouldn't work that now. It doesn't. Okay, so now I can make myself a workbench. Uh, I hate there being fireworks for the uh, for the achievements. I I find it really tacky, but. But I can't remember where it is you turn it off. So there we go. In fact, I want to create a separate chest for plants. And now, I'm going to go get all these. These plants up so I can start building. <clears throat> I'm not ready to do Batania yet. But 
and I'm sure I will need these at some point in time. If not for Batania related, fit for some kind of die or something. Scary that I might fall with all these plants. So maybe I should unload them now. <laughs> I think that's them all. Okay. Some trees planted. <clears throat> it's a bit of a tedious bit. Yeah, just spam the key like crazy. Stack of wood already. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so. Well, yeah, I needed 32 wood anyway. Uh, so I need a crook, a silkworm, and a barrel. Okay. Now. Oh. I gotta make them into sticks first. Those are crooks. And there's a barrel. And we're going to put it down just yet because it would be. Uh, it'll want 4 out of 4, 100%. I only made three. Oh, that's a bug there. Anyway, what you use with a crook is you've got to um, hit the leaves. It gives a higher chance of drops of saplings. It also uh, has the chance to drop a silk bug. Now I'm going to use the uh, the key, like the tree capitator type key, but it's actually a uh, vein miner, and I'm going to use the crook. There we go, and it does a big chunk, and there I got a silk one. 
Okay, it's... sound in a minute. <clears throat> now, I want the maximum number of leaves, so... That's why I'm going to spread these out. Then basically when they spread, they'll infest the leaves, as you can see here, infesting, and then the leaves will turn white. And then when you harvest them, they'll be, uh, they'll drop string. Well, good chance of dropping string. Come on. It's always best to harvest a lot of wood in the beginning. You never know when you're going to need it. Come yeah, on. Wants to go, it just doesn't know it yet. Is that everything? Alright. Let's do this. There's a bunch in there. Ooh, a GI. There we go. Should have completed the quest yet. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's next. Making a sieve. That I need to wait for the. Oh, bloody hell, that's a uh, tall one. I have to wait for some strings for that. Okay, what's in the reward bag? Amazing technical glasses. Well, let's. Doesn't do anything. Just makes me look cool. Okay. I want a hard canister. Uh, if I stick with that there. Does it do anything for me? Probably not because I'm hungry. There we go, it gives me half a yellow heart. Oh, a full one. <clears throat> it's like having an extra heart. Alright, what I'm going to do is actually... Uh, I'm going to build some, some barrels. These are. I've used them many times before in other mod packs. You put things in them, and I'm gonna stick all these chance cubes in there. Because they're a little, little dangerous to be using them in here, because the chance it could be like something like blow up, or suddenly lava goes everywhere, or spawns a wither, or you can get a bunch of good stuff. You never know. And I'm going to put one here. I'm going to stick lots of wood in it. <clears throat> Alright, 
Let's see. <clears throat> so I've got eight so far. Okay, there we go. I have enough to build a uh, a bed. There we go. Hope you got a bed now. <coughs> Not helping now. Okay. Now I would hold the, uh, the button down and take all the leaves out, but they're not all infested yet. Oh, the apple tree's grown. Now I've got to wait for those apples. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the mod box. See what else there is. Uh, Time to manually kill a few mobs. Time to put these blood moons to use. Lapis lamps do not affect mod spawners or cursed earth. Oh, okay. But I'm not ready for monsters yet. Tell you what. I'm happy with the, uh, the amount here. 19. Hmm, I need a bit more. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> I'm out of crooks. Time to bring the trees down. I think I'm going to have to have another barrel just for um, for saplings. <laughs> okay, it's coming night time. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I will um, I'll go sleep for the night and uh, and we'll call it there. And we'll start again fresh tomorrow. So time for bed and and have a good night and uh, I'll see everyone in the morning. Goodbye. See you next episode.